Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this product which is the Garnier Micellular Cleansing Water, I believe it's pronounced. And it claims to be an all-in-one cleansing product which removes your makeup, cleanses the skin and soothes the skin with no rinsing required or needed they say. And they say it's suitable for face, eyes, lips and it's perfume free. So we're just going to test that out. I'm just going to really quickly open it because I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, there's bubbles that come out of it. I'm just going to get a tiny bit on my finger. It doesn't have the texture of water. There's definitely something in it because it is slightly sticky between my fingers. Yeah, it's definitely a sticky texture. Great. I'm just going to read you on the back how it works and how to use it. So basically it says, for the first time by Garnier, micellular technology is introduced in an all-in-one cleanser. My cells are an active cleansing ingredient which act as a magnet to capture impurities, makeup and sebum on the skin without vigorous rubbing. The result is perfectly cleansed and refreshed skin without vigorous rubbing or rinsing. A smoothing formula without perfume to suit all skin types, even sensitive. And it says how to use white face, eyes and lips with a cotton pad soaked in micellar cleansing water. No vigorous rubbing or rinsing required. So that definitely sounds like like something up my alley. I do believe this might be a dupe for Bioderma. I was attracted to this by the pink lid. First thing I thought of was Bioderma. I haven't tried Bioderma personally, but let's see what it does in regards to living up to what it claims to do. So I want to see if I do have to do vigorous rubbing, if it does remove all my makeup. Let's see how it goes. So yeah, if you want to see how this works, then just keep watching. I'm just going to grab my cotton swab and I'm just going to get a little bit on it to remove my fake eyelashes. I'm just going to do one side to see how it goes. So I'm just going to rub it along the eyelash band and then I'm just going to let it sit there for a moment just so the product can dissolve the glue or attempt to dissolve the glue. I have noticed that it has wiped away my eyeshadow which is a good sign. Okay that removed my fake eyelash a lot easier than what I thought it would. Um, it wasn't any more difficult than if I was to use my oil based makeup remover. So I'm really going to quickly do the other eye and see if I have the same experience on the other eye. So I basically just rub it along the lash band, just back and forward a few times. And then hopefully this does dissolve the glue. Okay, so that removed both my fake eyelashes. Um, I feel like I should have used a little bit more product, but it did get it off without any real tugging at my eye, which is good. So let's quickly just grab a cotton pad. I'm just going to tip a bit of this stuff onto it. I'm sorry for my cockatoo, guys. He's literally going crazy outside. It's raining and oh, he just doesn't like the rain very much. I'm just going to use a little bit of this on a cotton pad. I'm just going to start wiping at my face. So I'm just going to start off at my forehead and it has already removed some product as you can see. So I'm just going to continue to wipe. You can definitely see my eyebrow products coming out. I do feel like I would need more than just one cotton pad though. I do feel like it's removing my makeup really, really easily. I will try my eyes and lips after. So I'm just going my, under my eye. Okay, so that's literally one cotton pad basically filled with gunk. I'm just going to keep going. I'll use another cotton pad afterwards. I'm going to see how much one takes off and then I'll go in with a second one. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. It's like bucketing down rain outside. It's ridiculous. Okay, so from first glance in the mirror, I do feel like it has removed a decent amount of makeup. Obviously it has removed my eye makeup because I haven't put it there yet, but I feel like it has removed it decently. And my skin texture actually feels quite nice as well. I think it might be the product itself because if you remember how I said before, there was that sticky nature, but it was a nice stickiness. I don't know. I feel like that's what's like making my skin feel softer. So that's one full cotton pad that's fully dirty now. You probably can't really see, but Let's try another one and see how we go. By the way, I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's honestly horrible outside today. It's just bucketing. There's no sun. And yeah, I'm just hoping that this looks okay. 
So I've just put more product onto another cotton pad and I'm just going to wipe over my eyes first. So that's just one swipe and it's just taken off that much. I'm just gonna have a real quick look in the mirror. I feel like that took off majority of my eyeshadow. Okay guys, I'm sorry for the lighting change. It was so dark, it was ridiculous. Now I'm just going to sit this over my eye and see how much makeup, like mascara gets dissolved because this is how I normally remove my mascara. And generally I just leave it for about a few seconds and then I just swipe. So it has removed a decent amount of my mascara. This isn't a waterproof mascara that I have on, I just have a normal one. This is so gross looking how much stuff is coming off my face. I'm actually quite impressed as to how fast and how efficient things are getting removed off my face. Yeah, I'm quite impressed so far. Like I haven't had to wait very long at all to remove my mascara. So as you can see, heaps of product on there. It's gross. And then I kind of just blink through it a few times. That's really, really gross. So that was using two Makeup rounds, I think they're pronounced. Anyway, I've used two of those so far. Now I need to remove my lips. I'm actually quite cautious of this because it is my lips. So let's see how we go. It says on the bottle you can use it for 200 uses. I don't think so, personally, because, yeah, I don't think so. But I'm just gonna put this on my lips and see how much comes off. I, do, I am wearing a nude lipstick. I should've wore something darker, I think. I don't feel like there's any residue left, which is good. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I'm gonna use the other side of that and just run it over my face to see if there's anything that this water, or cleansing water I should say, has missed. So again, just my forehead. Oh, I'm getting stuff. This is cool, this is making me cautious. So this is my second time going over my face. I am getting a lot of product like on the little cotton pad obviously not as opaque as say this one but there is definitely more product coming off my face which is making me really really alarmed but it could just be the residue I don't think that you could just not rinse it off because if I didn't rinse it off I wouldn't have known this was on my face um, so far I am impressed I don't think you could just use one cotton round in total, I used three cotton rounds. Right now, my face feels really, really cooling and the leftover product is really just making my skin feel really refreshed. Okay, my final test is going to be wiping my face with a simple kind of skin makeup wipe. Now, just taking into consideration, I am doing this step just to see how much is actually being taken off my skin. With that said, I'm just going to see how much this will take off. It might not take off anything, but we won't know until we try. So I'm just going to take one. These are my go-to makeup wipes looks like this and I'm just gonna start wiping at my face and then over my eyeball okay there's a tiny bit of mis okay I am seeing residue also my lips let's get that okay it did take off all my lip product I was wearing a black label lipstick by NYX in the shade nude and it did take all that off there was no residue on the tissue I do still see some mascara residue Okay, so I just went over my face. You can see some stuff left over. So I can see some um, mascara and so forth that I've just wiped from my eyes. And it's just basically came off. And I did have a little bit of base makeup residue, um, if you can see that. But overall, I think as long as you're washing your face afterwards, I think this is a good makeup remover. Like one swipe and I felt like stuff was removed from my face and I didn't have to rub, it wasn't anything that I was like scrubbing at my face, it was really just gliding it over and it just wiped it off. I did like that factor. I liked it because my mascara, it literally just wiped it away. A lot easier than my other makeup removers that I've tried, so I really liked it in that aspect. It didn't irritate my eyes, hasn't irritated my skin. Would I use it as an all-in-one without rinsing? No. Um, you've seen the second round when I wiped my face with that cotton round, I did have residue. If I didn't wash my face, I would literally go to sleep or like go out with that still in my pores. I don't think that would be good. Um, but overall, I do think it's a nice product. I don't believe it 
cleanses. It does remove makeup. It could cleanse, I guess. Um, but yeah, smoothing, I did notice it around my nose a little bit, which I enjoy. Yeah, on first impressions, I would definitely recommend this to people. Yeah, I don't think there's else I need to say about it. I really, really did enjoy it. Um, I did sound a little bit negative, I'm sorry. So but I would say this is a good makeup remover. I would say that you do need to rinse it. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.